I'm moving to India, mom. Can I touch your food? You can even touch me. <laughs> <laughs> I never ate with my hands. Pickles from mango. Yeah. Wow. Maybe I need to look for Indian husband. Hi. Namaskar. Because my Hindi is Hindi, thanks to my amazing friends, I can say Mera naam Dana hai. Or? Or Shubrat. <laughs> It's too early for Shabrat, you know? Pierre Cartier, we are Tumse. All right, tic tac. <laughs> My friend Dana here is going to be trying dosa for the very first time. It is gluten free and vegan. Absolutely, because she's on a diet. I'm not on a diet, I'm just a complicated one. Have you tried Indian food before? About eight years ago. Eight years ago, that doesn't count. It doesn't. Our dosa has arrived right here. Do you know what this entire thing is? No, but she what? said it's made from lentils and rice, I think. Right. Is there something no, yellow so you inside? see this crepe, this crepe. It's like crepe, yeah. Not on. So this is made from rice and lentils. Like and a what blend makes of, it yellow? It's pan fried. Okay. on. Now if you open it, I want you to have a peek. Take a peek. I'm scared. <laughs> you see what that is? That's mashed potato. Okay, so that's what's yellow. No con. Do you know what these dips are? This is spicy, I see. This, these are pickles. This pickles. is a, no con. Red this, pickles. No con. This pickles is made from fresh. mango, raw mangoes. Mango pickles. No con. Not Ma cucumber. No. I mean, there is, but this As is. As a Slavic mango. person, I need a shock. <laughs> pickles from mango. Yeah. Wow. This is a mix of coriander and mint. Okay, that's why it's green. No con. The this, this is coconut. You see? And what are those little... Those are mustard seeds. You see the seeds? Okay. Mustard seeds. And I think this is... Uh, it's called Kadi Patta. I don't know how to call it in uh, English. We're going to work in my Hindi. <laughs> and this is not really sambar. Sambar is like... It's usually like placed in a bowl. But this is like another on the side. Okay, so this is spicy. This is not spicy. This shouldn't be spicy as much as others. So everything is spicy. <laughs> Depends how spicy. I see. No. Okay. Are you ready to try? And it's always with mashed potatoes, right? Like traditionally. No, traditionally. The classic dosa is always with mashed potatoes. But are you cooking first potatoes and afterwards crepe? Or you do it all together? No, you, you make them separately and then once this is ready, you put on the mashed potato and then... Nice. It's so like... You see? It's like like a paper. It's all no, like cool. on. There's also something called paper dosa, which is like... Like paper, like literally Not like... Everything is mostly fried, pan fried. Okay, so am I supposed to take mashed potatoes as well? Yeah, on with a scale hands? of 1 to 10, yes. How excited are you to eat with your hands? I never ate with my hands. Maybe and? when I was 5, uh -huh. and my mom was not happy because I made the kol me lochlach, you no know. Con, no con, no con. So I'm going to no. take consent because you can't go ahead without consent. Can I touch your food? You can even touch me. <laughs> <laughs> So I'm going to teach you Wait, how to... I have a question. Sorry, I've been dropping. Yes. Is it usually like one person food or you share it? It really depends. Like I like to share my food. Okay. Because that's how you grow love by sharing. Oh, oh, yeah. Sharing um, is scary. But this is a meal for one. Oh, okay. Oh, that's a lot. Yeah. So I'm going to teach you how to eat dosa. Okay? Yeah. What you're going to do is you're going to... Nahon, thank you. You're going to break this. Now, I already have potato in mm -hmm. here. Okay. So I'm not going to scoop it in. And you take like, I like the coconut chutney. Kaka. Oh, we do have sambar. Can you pass that to me right here? No corn. And then you just like What's dip. What's that? Sambar. It's lentil soup. Oh, <laughs> oh my god. Oh. <laughs> right there. And that's how, oh, and that's how you eat it. <laughs> mm. I'm moving to India, mom. <laughs> Okay, I want you to try now. Me, myself? Yes. But I want you to feed me. <laughs> okay, yellow. I can do it. Yes. Any side? Yeah, any side. Doesn't matter. I got it. Okay. Get, did you get potato? Yeah. I want to go for mango pickles. Okay. Because I never ate mango pickles. Okay, go for it. Don't take a lot because it's going to be... Spicy. No, huh? okay. Spicy and sour. Okay. So, Baba. This is the best. I'm leaving for India. <laughs> but it's not far enough. 
Do you think there is a corner of this earth so you can travel far enough to free me from this torture? <laughs> oh, really, listen. I knew Indian food is good, but this is actually super spicy. Oh, it is. But it is. It's it's such a mix of flavors, like spicy mango potatoes. Look, I was grown eating potatoes. It's something very Slavic. Right. But potatoes and mango, which we consider to be exotic, it's medora. Nahon. Same with coconut. It's like not a typical, um, you know, I don't know, it's fruit or vegetables, how you consider it. But I love it. And the cut, it's like, oh, I want to marry a person who did it. Now I'll give you a piece. Um, okay, I'm following what you told Nahon. me. Tear it. And now you can actually scoop a little bit of potato. Nahon. Okay. Which you literally one? scooped it. I would like, please, this, the chutney. It's also a bit spicy. A little bit. I don't know. I'm, not, I'm tasted it, and maybe a little bit of this. Gamze. The gamze, but I think it's gonna be like tricky. So you know what? Let's just do. Also, Dana, have you had chai before? No, and I know that this is shivolet. It's like vegan option, right? Nahon. But I have a question. It looks like cacao. Cacao? Nahon. But it's not cacao. That's the magical so, part. What gives What gives the color? Is the tea leaves. Tea leaves? Yes, you basically boil tea leaves in water and then you add milk. In this case, Dana does not have milk, so we've added almond milk, right? It smells very good. It, it does. It smells with like spiciness. Spices? I, I, I feel like it, it's a, it smells super good. Let's cheers. Lechaim to our friendship. Okay, now take a sip. Wow. It is sweet. It is spicy. But it really reminds me of cacao. I can't understand why. It's like. It's fun. Maybe because of shibolet. Maybe because of oat milk. Yeah. So originally it goes with cow milk, right? With Cow milk, milk. And which you prefer? So because I grew up in India, I always prefer regular milk. And you said milk in India is better. It's definitely better. Okay, what about soy? Soy, to be honest, I've never had soy milk is in India. Is it legal? Of course! No, is it legal Indian chai with soy milk? I don't know. <laughs> I think yes, for people who don't have uh, dairy, I think it's a good option. Oh. Very good to ask your mama. <laughs> so, I have a question. Yes. I think it's my chai, but take it. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Oh my gosh. About chai, do you drink it during food or after food? It really depends from person to person. Like I like to sip it while I eat. Whereas my dad likes to finish his food and then have his chai. I'll tell you what. I was raised that a chai is something you take after food with a dessert, you know? Oh really? That all people do that a lot. It's like you have lunch and then you go for like coffee. Something sweet. It's, it's something like that. But I like to sip my chai with my food. That's interesting because this is sweet and the food is salty slash spicy no. slash sweet. No fun. I never tried it. I, I never drank tea with my food unless I'm taking something sweet. Unless I'm eating, I don't know, a cake. But how are you feeling now? Because I know you're sipping with the food now. I love it because it's spicy and sweet and it's like a paradise inside of my throat. I know, right? It's like so many flavors at the same time. Can you cook for me every day? Cook and me? <laughs> I will be cleaning dishes. <laughs> Maybe I can teach you and you can cook for me. I can. I don't think it's hard because, um, but again, it looks amazing. Like, you know, just clapping to a person who did it. This is soup. This is sambal. But this is soup. Like almost soup, but we call it sambal. So in Slavic countries, we first eat soup. Afterwards, we eat like a main meal. We don't like, you know, um, put our meal inside the soup and afterwards we drink cha chai. chai or chaha 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 is like so, in marathi chaha marathi 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 selo chaha uh, selo is greek i'm sorry <laughs> i meant to say bali oh my gosh bali girl. chaha Please. Yeah, Hana Bohat the Chahe. Yeah, Hana. Yeah, Hana Bohat the Chahe. Oh my god! Ooh. Maybe an intro for Indian husband. Actually, a lot of my audiences, they want to come to Israel and they would love to marry someone like you. Because you're beautiful question. and smart. 
Thank you. Love Sorry, food and culture and me. About food. Um yes. Do you feel the difference between eating it at home in India versus here? Oh, for sure. So it's not the same. Definitely it's good, not. but it's what what's different? So it is not 100% authentic because it is made for international audience. Nahan. Because you're in Israel, everybody's taste buds are not used to like the spiciness level we have back so in India. So it's right. India is super spicy. But it's also flavorful. It's not the same flavor, but I could say it's like it's pretty close to what what I have at home. But it's it's good. Like whenever I miss home and I feel like having dosa, I come to Munar and I I order so dosa. So it's not spicy for you. It is a little bit spicy. So for me, I am Indian, but my spice my spiciness threshold is not as as high as my other friends. So I struggle to eat spicy food in general, but if it's dosa, I will manage. It's not spicy for me except mango. Mango? Yeah, that's the mango pickle. That usually Mango is driving me to cultural shock this first because mango pickle. But it's also spicy. Like I look little and I'm like <laughs> Would you um order dosa ever again? And don't yeah. say yes to the camera. Like say it because you mean it. I love it. Um I want to try the set uh, they have with avocado. How do you feel about that? It's like a seasonal. Is it Indian or no, is it it's not? Like, I've never had a dosa with avocado. It's just like because in Israel like avocado is like it's very popular. So they want to blend in like bringing bring in like a fusion. I would I would definitely try but I would I don't know if I would like eat it on a regular basis. You know what? It reminds me it's like avocado toast but with crab and Indian. So that's about it. We did like a cute little video for my friend Dana because she wanted to try and I wanted to share her reaction with you guys. So I hope you like it and hope you like the food. I am a big fan. I was influenced, okay? How do you influence by the influencer? My daisy girl. Daisy. Daisy. TikTok. <laughs> TikTok. So well, I need to work on some sounds. TikTok. TikTok. Not TikTok. <laughs> It's banned in India, by the way. TikTok. TikTok. I need. You persuade um Ravi to give me more Hindi classes so my Hindi will be Hindi. Now it's not Hindi enough. I'll tell you what, Indian food has been always super popular, but I'll make sure all of my friends, non Indian friends, and Indian friends if I make more, you'll be jealous. We'll come and try it also. It's amazing. I would encourage all non Indians come and try it also. That's an unforgettable experience. And we will see you next time. Bye. Bye.